Mm. GMC, how strong, how big is your party in Gambia there? I mean, you know, when you talk about big and strong, in politics you are speaking relative terms. Uh, because we have seen examples where a smaller party of less than a year was able to defeat a party of 60 years. We have seen, for example, the, the party of President Makisar, which was formed barely a year, was able to defeat a very strong party, very well financed, very entrenched, that is the, the PDS. Mm. So, uh, in politics, everything is possible. And why this conference is in, uh, why this conference here in Dakar? Are you not scared to be suspect to be a foreign candidate? No, this is not uh, the case. This Gambia and Senegal share a common destiny. Uh, this conference is in Senegal here yeah, for two reasons. The first reason is one of pragmatism. And that is to say, we would like to, this is part of our foreign policy promotion. And this is not the first time we held it. We had one here in 2009 which was held at the Hotel Teranga, Pullman Teranga. Uh, we had that, and uh, it was attended by the media and the diplomatic community. We came to Senegal because most of the diplomats that are accredited to our country are based in Senegal, and they operate out of Senegal, not from Bandur. And if we want to reach them in their largest numbers, we have to come to where they are. This is where they are based. So mm -hmm. we have to come here to meet them. Secondly, we would like to share and to share and to educate our Senegalese brothers and sisters about what is happening in our country so that they can know the kind of system we have in order to so enable them to be able to offer any support they can as members of our party. Mm. Do you not care of uh, how people will see that in, inside Gambia? They will say that you are a foreigner candidate. Uh, no. Um, if this is the first time we are holding this, yes. But we have had meetings in the diaspora. I've had meetings in, in Scandinavia, I've had meetings in Ghana, I've had meetings in Nigeria. This is part of my job as a leader of a political party, to go around and talk and conduct our diplomacy. This is part of diplomacy. Okay, let's talk about your policy now. Uh, you, as a candidate, what your, what's your, uh, what your project for millions of youth in Gambia? What's your project concretely? First and foremost, I'd like you to understand that I'm a, a candidate of the youth. I share more in common with them than any candidate in that country. What would you do for them? That's what I'm saying. So my needs, I know the needs of youth better than any candidate because I am part of that group. I am from that group. I know how my problem is the same problem that the youth have. So I'm in a better position to empathize with the youth. So we are going to restructure our tax system so that the government will be able to harness maximally taxes that are being paid by people without overtaxing them. Because when you overtax a business, it becomes a burden and you close them down. So we are going to promote a private enterprise. Also, we are going to mm. do leapfrogging. And we will create you know, development pools like Gambia and Senegal, have free enterprises, uh, free custom fields. We are going to use the machinery of the state to transform our economy from where it is to something new. In other words, we are going to create a new macroeconomic approach okay. towards solving our country. Okay. Uh, I will ask you a comment on, uh, on how things were going on last time in, in Gambia. Uh, the president, as you know, has declared that Gambia is an Islamic state. How do you feel about that? Well, like, I, like I said, um, this, is, this is something that I will, I, will, uh, I will tell the whole world not to take seriously. Um, in, we should, what I want to be talking about is not a name calling the Gambia Islamic State, calling the Gambia whatever state. What is fundamental today? This is exactly what President Yajame wants. He wants us to stop talking about his bad records. He wants us to stop talking about the economy. He wants us to stop talking about his dictatorship so we can focus our attention into Islamic State discussion. Because the moment we take this as an issue, we are going to forget what is more fundamental to Gambia. Economy, jobs, education, health, agriculture. Now, the, now he well, is succeeding, he is succeeding in making us change the discourse from the dismal record he has onto something perennial like an Islamic State. So I am advising everybody not to focus on this issue, to go back and talk about matters that are of importance to government. And that's what I'd like to talk about.